German chocolate cake. Sounds good. Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm making a German chocolate cake. It's good for holidays, it's good for any time. I'm using the Baker's Secret German chocolate cake recipe. Cause it, I've used it before and it turned out wonderful. So if you like recipes and content like this, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Ring that bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, I have my oven heating to 350 degrees and I have cut out three parchment rounds and sprayed in my pans for my cake. The parchment rounds really make it come out easier because it's a moist cake. And now I'm going to take this four ounce package of Baker's German chocolate and I'm going to just quickly chop it up a little bit so that we can melt it. You want to put it in a microwave safe bowl. And to that, I've got it in a microwave safe bowl. And to that, I want to add a half a cup of water. And I just want to put that in my microwave for a minute. And I'll be back. It's been a minute and now I just want to stir this until the chocolate's melted. My microwave cooks good so the chocolate is melted. And we just want to set that aside for right now. separate these eggs and I'm going to put the whites in my mixing bowl to be. I'm going to give my hands a good washing. Chocolate crumbs everywhere. And I'm going to use my whipper my beater <laughs> to whip these eggs and you want to whip them till they get stiff peaks. So I'll see you in a minute. into another bowl and set aside. Now I'm going to add my one cup of butter. And I am going to beat it with my two cups of sugar. Beater, and I will see 
you when it gets light and fluffy. Alright. So we got it light and fluffy. And now I just want to add my egg yolks one at a time. One of them broke. Let it mix in after each time. I want to blend in my melted chocolate. vanilla. And let that mix really well. Scrape down the bowl. Ooh, that like melted chocolate. It smells so good. mix for a second and then we're going to alternately add my flour mixture and a cup of buttermilk and we'll start in with the flour and you want it to mix in good good and now we will fold, gently fold in our egg whites whites will make it lighter so you don't want to over stir it and buttermilk makes the cake taste moist just want to get it in there and now we'll divide this between my three cake beans and I usually don't bother with this but today I'm gonna to make it look pretty because you see the cake layers in between I'm gonna try to get it as even as I can so I'm gonna just use a measuring cup in my oven it says for 30 minutes I'm gonna check them in 20 and I will see you then. took about 25 minutes for, for a little bit longer for this one it must have been a little bit thicker 
So I'm gonna let them sit on the racks for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna turn them out and let them completely cool. All right, now it's time for the icing. And I've got four egg yolks. Flaking coconut, and I just want to mix that up really well. And now I'm just going to let this sit till it gets to um, spreading consistency, let it cool just a little while. And I'll be back. All right, I think it's cooled enough. German chocolate cake, you don't do the sides. My great grandmother, my granny, she never crossed the sides of her cake. It didn't matter what kind of cake she made. But I like to cross it on the sides. Except for the German chocolate cake, I like it better. The way it's traditionally supposed to be. enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring that bell so you'll be notified when my videos are uploaded. So until next time, bye y'all.